Hi. Hello. What's your name? Holden Caulfield. Nice to meet you. I'm Shane. Nice to meet you. Please sit. <clears throat> so um, today I'm going to create a psychological profile of you. I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, feel free to be open and um, express yourself and just uh, be open to me, okay? Okay. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> so the first question I have is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, sadly, in the last couple of years, I really haven't been successful whatsoever. I mean, I failed out of four prep schools, and I just haven't been able to focus on my studies. So obviously, therefore, like, I don't see myself in the business world as like, an entrepreneur or anything. Um, so I just want to escape and find a place where I can ultimately be myself. I mean, I've lived in the city all my life, and I'm just sick of the hustle and bustle, and everybody's in a rush to do things. So I just want to escape and be able to take life slowly as it comes. Okay, okay. Um, if you could, if you could create a couple words to describe your life, or like just describe yourself in general, which which words would you use? Like uh, depressed or? Um, you use? Well, definitely depressed because most of the, most times I just feel lonely and I feel like I can't really con make a connection with anybody because they don't truly understand who I am and how I express myself. Um, and also, I, like I said before, unsuccessful. I mean, I haven't been able to really focus on my work and really make something good out of my life as of now. Okay. Do, you have any, do you have any close relationships with anybody? Or? Um, well, this one girl, Sally Hayes, I took her to a play once in New York and Afterwards, I really felt like we had a good connection. So I asked her to marry me and move off to Massachusetts or Vermont with me so we could really be free. Um, but she said no because she thought it was too like, abrupt. And she said that you couldn't just do something like that. So that kind of disappointed me. But the only other person that I feel like I have a quality relationship with and who can understand me is my sister, Phoebe. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, otherwise, I feel like nobody really understands me. Do you feel like you're alone in the world? Do you feel like you're an outcast? Or? I mean, a lot of the time, because, like, again, nobody really understands me and, like, what I've gone through. Like, I don't know. It's, it's hard. Okay. Let me just write a couple of notes. Um, next question. What color, if you could pick a color that represents you in your life, like, what would that color be? Is there any moments in your in your life that uh, would depict this uh, color, or what? Um, I suppose I would choose the color yellow, because, I mean, a lot of times I don't follow through with what I think I should do. Like, for instance, one time, I, before I went home, after being kicked out of PC prep, um, I stayed in a hotel in New York, and this elevator man, asked me if I wanted a prostitute sent up to my room. So at, the, at that moment I said yes. Um, but once she came into the room, I kind of followed my conscience at that point and didn't follow through with it. Um, I didn't follow through with making interactions with her. Um, but then I only gave her $5 because that's what the man said, how much it would cost. But later that night they came back and asked for five more dollars. Um, and ultimately he ended up punching me in the stomach, and I felt like I should have fought back, but then I decided against it. Um, I mean, I ultimately kind of like whipped out because I don't have enough courage, because I feel so unsuccessful and I don't have confidence and courage to pursue what I think I should do sometimes. So you feel like you, you're not a very confident person, you don't have that much confidence in yourself? No, not at all. You're, I can tell you're very depressed and lonely. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know. Okay. Um, recently, have you had any thoughts that you'd be better off um, dead or hurting yourself in any way? Well, then, like, again, that night after he had punched me and left the room, I just felt so bad. Like, my stomach hurt so much. And, I mean, I felt like I would just commit suicide. I mean, I felt like I would be better off dead. So you, so you had suicide thoughts? Yes, definitely. Especially that night. That's the 
most recent. Okay, wow. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Have you ever felt alone or that you have let people down in a way that made you depressed or angry or sad? Um, well, one time when I was still at Pensy Prep, um, I was I was on a fencing team trip to the city, um, and unfortunately, I was too stuck on like figuring out when we had to get off and we can't get back that I forgot all the fencing equipment on the subway. Um, so when we got back to Pensy, there's a huge rivalry, rivalry football game going on, but I really, I felt like I let people down. I didn't really want to be around people because, I don't know, I just felt depressed. And uh, so at that moment, I just sat up on the hill and watched the game instead of going and interacting with people. Okay, so you felt, you felt like, you know, nobody could relate to you, like you didn't have any friends, you were just alone pretty much. Well, I know, I mean, like, the only people I could slightly get along with was like my dorm mates, like, like Stradlater. I mean, but still, he wasn't really like, he wasn't anything like me. And Ackley, he was just annoying. But, I mean, yeah, there really was nobody at Pensy Crab that truly understood me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try a couple more. Let's see. What would you say was a traumatic event in your life? Has there, any, has there ever been something that just made you completely depressed, sad, anything like that? Definitely, definitely. Um, when I was younger, my brother Ali, he died of leukemia. Um, I mean, I knew he had had cancer, um, but I didn't realize, like, how bad it got. And then once he died, I just couldn't believe it. I was so mad. I mean, I punched a whole, I punched glass in the, like, the window in the garage. I was so mad. Um, but I mean, he was, so, he was a great guy. So is that how you, is that how you deal with your, with your madness, with your depressed? You just release your anger at windows or? Yeah, I mean, sometimes. Like, it depends on the situation, I guess. Like one time, I got in a fight with Stradlater. Uh, I mean, really, again, the yellow thing comes up. I mean, I kind of didn't have enough confidence in myself and really got the crap beaten out of me by him. And, and, um, okay. person or a girl or like father figure in your life that you could like that like kind of relates to your situation or do you have like a strong or reliable relationship with? Um I would say my sister Phoebe. I mean she is a really great girl. She's really smart. I mean although she's young she's very mature. And she's really the only person in my life that I would say that truly like understands me and what I've gone through, especially because she's my sister. I mean Allie was my brother and also her brother. So she felt like the same way I did. I mean, I feel like I, I kind of, I mean, obviously I had like, raged more at the situation, um, but I feel like she was still very depressed out of it. But other than that, she's truly a great girl. I mean, <clears throat> very intelligent and she knows what, I, like she always knows what people are saying and can relate to it, whether she truly understands it or not. She still like, at least acts like she knows what you're talking about, um, which I feel is very important. Yeah, that is good to have someone there for you. Mm -hmm. um, so when you when you relive the event with your brother, um, do you usually lash out like you did with, in, in your garage, or do you usually keep it inside? I mean, I try to keep it inside. I mean, I sometimes have flashbacks.